Hi besties, it's your girl Tabi. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I wanna say a big thank you to Oakwood Company for sponsoring this part of the video. Oakwood Company is a bag company that produces bags that are opportune, cheap, useful, and can be used as a daily wardrobe essential. So I got a chance to choose one bag from their website and I settled for a Korean mobile bag. It's black in color, it's made of leather, and it has pearls that makes the bag look so stylish. The details on the bag, they're just unique. It has a certain design on the sides, on both sides. Also, it has an adjustable strap that you can adjust to whichever length you want it to be. For the girlies that don't like carrying bulky bags when going out, or when running errands, I would highly recommend this bag. It's quite small, like literally, but it can also fit your purse and fit your phone. And in the inside, it has two compartments. Um, there. I have put all the links to the company's website and also the link to the bag directly down in my description box below. So make sure you check them out and also try and purchase one thank you and thank you again to awkward company for sponsoring this video so let's head into the main video of today so on today's video i'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how i record and edit my short videos that i post on instagram and tiktok so stay tuned till the end let's get into it so i basically record my videos in this corner right behind me and then i do record my videos using my phone I just use the iPhone 13 and uh, these are the settings that I've set my phone to. For formats, I've set my phone to high efficiency and then in record video, I've set my phone to 4K at 60 FPS and then for recording slow-mo, I've set my phone to the highest format it can be which is 1080p at 240 fps and so i've turned the grid on on my phone so that i can know if i'm yeah i'm at the center of the video and also i've turned on the view outside the frame so that it can record the environment around me that's it for my settings then i just use a tripod to hold my phone when recording so i have two tripods. I got this tripod off Amazon and it extends to six to six inches and also like it's it's kind of small you can fold it to be a little bit smaller and it can fit in your bag so another tripod that I use is the one that's holding my camera the lighting that I use So that's the tripod that I use and this is the lighting that I use and that's it and plus now the other tripod that I've shown you. So for editing, you can use uh, any software that you like according to your level of expertise. For me, I use CapCut which I find it more beginner friendly and also easier to use but there's iMovie. Adobe Premiere Pro, you can basically use any other that you would like to. These are the basic editing steps that I do. First of all, I import the video that I want to edit. Then second, I, I just trim out the parts that I don't want them to be in the main video. So as for this, right now I just want the part that I'm holding the skirt to be in the main video. So I'm just going to cut that part only. So you just click on the video, click split, then split some part, some good part of the video that you want it to be in the main video, like uh, maybe one or two seconds, and then delete the part that's before that. So you can trim out the rest of the video to your liking.
this is how the video we are using today for the tutorial looks like after trimming the unwanted parts. So that's how the video looks like. Okay, according to your liking, you can add transitions in your video. But as for me, for this video, I won't do that. So the next thing, for your videos to be of high quality and also to look more clear, you can add, you can adjust or enhance the visuals. So what I'm trying to mean is you can adjust the brightness, the contrast, the exposure. So you just tap on the adjust adjust part on the down on the banner down there and then uh, adjust brightness. So maybe we can put a uh, 5, we can put up to 5, level 5. And then we go to contrast. I don't use contrast most of the time because when you're recording your video at 4K, like 90% of the video is already perfect. So I just adjust to the minimum. To the minimum. So you can do, you can use saturation. You can adjust your saturation. So just a little bit up to two and then adjust exposure maybe a little just a little bit maybe three or four and then you can adjust your sharpness so that the video can be more clearer and uh, more into detail so you can adjust it to around five maybe yeah so if the lighting is yellow you can adjust that you just tap on the temperature option and then adjust it towards where it's written reset like you adjust it towards the start of the column so you adjust it to around negative seven if you noticed the video was a bit yellow but now the video is a bit whiter and that's because we, are, we have adjusted the temperature to make a very big difference to your video and to the quality of your videos so after doing that after you're happy with your video how it has turned out you just click the tick uh the tick sign at the corner of the screen and then the adjust template will just appear at the bottom of the video so you just drag it till the end of your video up to there so the whole video is now affected by the the adjustments that you have done I hope I'm clear so after that after adjusting the brightness and the exposure and every other thing you can now add an audio so as for me I do screen record audios from my Instagram and then I just export the audio itself to cap to export the audio you just click at audio at the down but at, at the banner down there and then you go to extracted it's the screen record of the audio that you want to use in your photos so you just go to the screen recording that you want to use and then it's gonna ask you down there to import sound only and that's what you're gonna do so you have just imported the sound only to your video and so the next step is you're gonna click at the audio and then there's a banner that will appear down there split fade volume voice effect delete beats speed reduce noise and copy so you're gonna tap on the beats option and then there's an option to auto generate beats and that's where you're gonna tap to you're gonna tap so it's adding beats to the audio so that you can sync your video with the audio so the yellow 
there are yellow dots that have been generated on your audio so each and every part that you have in your video you're gonna trim it to align with a yellow dot so this is what i mean um tap on the on the part of the video that you want to align these are yellow dots at the audio so just align the white line with the yellow dot first drag the video towards the white line and so it has aligned with the yellow dot and so do that to all the other clips After aligning the portions of the video with the yellow dot, so you can now trim out the other part of the audio that you're not using. And now this is how the video looks like right now. Basically, you have synced the audio with your video so that will make your video more catchy to the person who is viewing your video and so now you can add text to your video you will do that by tapping on the text option at the banner down there there's an option to add text so just tap on it and then we can maybe write get ready with me and then after typing it you can just you can just tap on the tick option up there and then get ready with me text tablet has just appeared at the bottom of your video so just drag it to the duration of your liking so to change the font of the text you're just gonna tap at style at the banner down there and then you have you have a banner that's so you will have font style effect animation and bubble so just tap at font and you have a lot of fonts down there and you can choose any of them that that you would like as for me i can choose maybe soap and the font has changed and then if i want to add color to the text i'll just tap on style and then maybe pink maybe yellow maybe brown blue whichever so as for me i'll just go with the white and then that's it and then i'll just you just tap on the tick option and then everything is now well and edited So after putting the text and aligning the text wherever you want it to be, you can watch your video till the end and once you're satisfied with the video, with the outcome of the video, you can now import the video to your gadget. So just tap on the 180p and the arrow pointing upwards. You can adjust whichever resolution you want to import your video at so 180p and uh, there is 4k so as for me for instagram and tiktok i just do it at 1080p because i notice I export it at 4k and then i upload it on instagram it gets over saturated like the exposure the saturation is too high and the video looks so bad so i decided to try out the 1080p and it uh, it absolutely works so you're just gonna upload your video now and done you're now done you can share your video to all your social platforms so we have come to the end of this video and i hope the tutorial was of great help to you you don't know who's watching you don't know the opportunities that are waiting for you so post that content and also 
Make sure you follow me on my Instagram, my TikTok, and please subscribe to my YouTube, Road to 500 Subscribers. I'm excited. And so, thank you and thank you very much if you have reached this point of the video. I love you all and bye. See you in my next video.